Today, there's greater opportunity than ever before for young people to get involved in space exploration. One reason for this is because there's an organization dedicated to helping students send their science experiments into outer space. Today is a special event in the lives of Boy Scout Troop 209 from Palatine, Illinois. They're here at Cape Canaveral, where in just a few hours, an experiment of theirs will be launched by a SpaceX rocket to the International Space Station. Our experiment is basically an organism and a suspected cancer-causing substance, and we're gonna send that to space and we're gonna go try and compare the mutation rates between uh, space gravity and Earth's gravity. Now, all right, you guys, so an experiment that you guys designed, you guys came up with the idea, you built it, and your experiment is gonna be in space. All right. Yay! Yay! Two and a half years ago, the Center for the Advancement of Science and Space, which manages the U.S. laboratory on the space station, offered several Boy Scout troops in the Chicago area the opportunity to come up with a scientific experiment that would be sent to space. Troop 209 won the competition, and they brought along a mock-up of their project. Inside their experiment will be a type of bacteria called E. coli. Over a one-month period aboard the space station, a miniature camera will record, once every hour, the rate at which the bacteria mutates. Sending an experiment to space can be complex. Carrie Lamack's company, Dream Up, assists students in getting their projects ready for launch. So if a student wants to do an experiment in microgravity or research something that can only happen in space, they can come to us and we can send their experiment to the International Space Station or on Blue Origin's rockets suborbitally. Building a sophisticated experiment like this that involves microbiology, mechanical and electrical engineering, and computer science required the help of several mentors. It was really amazing to watch a very specific science and engineering focused group working and learning, especially the coding for the software. And by the time we were done, they had coded all of the instructions to tell the motor to turn, the light to come on, the camera to take a picture, and they had to make all of those things work together in the code. This is the Nessie board, and this is the almost like computer which drives our entire operation. I would just like to say that for those people that think that scouting is camping and cooking over a campfire and not tying and maybe a little bit of swimming or canoeing, there's a lot more to scouting. The Boy Scouts offer over 60 merit badges in subjects like science, technology, engineering, and math. Come on up, boys. We're getting close to launch time. Troop 209's experiment for the space station will be a first for any scout organization. One of the greatest benefits for each scout during this experience was discovering a new skill. The best part of this project for me, it's been really the learning experience. I found out that I really like electrical engineering and like computer science. So I think that's like what I'm more focused on now. Well, we're just minutes away. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is ready to go. This is really going to be something to see. For students, it's super exciting to be able to see something that they touched and they built break the bonds of gravity and go up to the International Space Station. For these boys, the launch will be a memory that they'll cherish for the rest of their lives. Coming up, the rocket launch isn't over quite yet. Wait till these scouts witness what happens next. After the thrill of watching their experiment launched into space, Boy Scout Troop 209 receives another special treat. 
When the first stage of the rocket separates, it returns back to Earth, using rocket thrusters to control its descent. As stage one gently approaches its designated landing area, it's a sight to behold. This stage one rocket can now be used again for future missions. Meanwhile, the payload containing the Boy Scouts' experiment continues on its way to the space station. Watching videos of rockets taking off has nothing on this. It kind of takes your breath away. In addition to earning some special merit badges, these scouts have also taken a step towards a career in space exploration. But it wasn't easy. When I first joined the team, I thought it was just going to be, OK, we're going to make something that was going to go to space. It's not that simple, though, because after like two months, I thought about quitting because it was so hard to do everything. But after I got used to it, and it was like lots of excitement, lots of failures. But yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> 